The World Advertising No Excuses 3, presented by Radio Life, was back this time at a new track. We travelled to Heathcote Park Raceway, which is now under new management, to see some of Australia's quickest, best and toughest cars battle it out for $8,000 in prize money and bragging rights. These events are run at a smaller cap of cars so everyone gets a chance to have enough track time. Even though it's an elimination shootout style event, we allow for grudge racing, open practice and call outs. This means if you're knocked out, you still get the chance to race in between shootout rounds, have your grudge, have your call out and just have a little bit of fun. Due to the warmer weather, we pushed back racing to start at 1pm where all entrants were able to run their cars in an open practice where they were able to grudge race, do call outs and just have some time to get their car right prior to eliminations. During the open practice, we saw entrants really turn it up, putting on a show for the crowd whilst dialing their cars in getting ready for an afternoon of racing. We want cars to just come and send it, right? So, during the practice, that's what people did. They really came and sent it. This event consists of four classes and one non-competition class. The classes are the Status Performance 235 class, which allows exhaust to the dip and a 235 rating time. The Tuner's Edge 275 class, which allows up to a 275 radial tyre. The Glossworks Radial Outwork class, which allows any radial tyre size allowed to race. The Pedicate by Caroline, all drive share, again. Any size radial tyre allowed to race. And the newly added Just Send It class where entrants can come, not compete, still race throughout the day. This allows them to enjoy watching the awesome racing while not being part of the knockout elimination and just being able to come and send it. Let's jump on board, let's watch some racing, sit back, relax, and enjoy. This year's Status Performance Products 235 class saw Todd Foley take out the win in his VH Commodore. This car ran an 860 at 159 mile an hour on the day. Shane in his VL Turbo came second, running a 9 second pass and doing a massive skid in the final.
take home second place. This class was quarter mile racing. The Tuna Z 275 class was also a quarter mile class. This year, Kai McPhee put a smaller tyre in and jumped in with the 275 boys just to mix it up a little bit. Kai McPhee took out first place, running a PB of 862 at 165 mile an hour in his BC Commodore. He was pedalling it throughout the day, the car had some serious power, but he still, got, still took out the win over Tony Lamana in his VS Statesman, which ran a best of a 991 at 139 on the day. Tony Lamana's car was consistent all day, really, really, really bought it. He put on some seriously good racing and it was amazing to watch these two cars battle it out in the final. The Glossworks Radial Outlaw class was run on the 8th mile. This class was run in a Chicago shootout style. First place went to Ryan in his 1980 RX-7. This car ran a 560 at 122 mile an hour on the 8th. Bradley Young came second in his 1966 HR, running a 611 at 115 mile an hour again on the 8th mile. And finally, the Pedicut by Caroline All Drive Shootout. This class was quarter mile, but was also run in a Chicago shootout style. First place was Jason Ruby versus the world. Running a PB and his quickest time he's ever run in that car at 815 at 167 mile an hour. It is Nissan S13 Silvia. Just sit back and watch this in car. This is absolutely crazy. Coming second was Paul Burke and his Jeep Tracker 2018. We also gave away a bunch of trophies in the day. The Promoter's Choice Award went to LV, a fast one, and his Ford F6. Fastest Holden and fastest eight cylinder went to Todd Foley in his VH Commodore that ran 860 at 159 on the quarter mile. Best burnout went to Shane Soul 747 in his Holden VL Tour, putting on a massive smoke show for the crowd. <laughs> Fastest forward went to Joshua Tuscan in his Ford XW. Fastest six cylinder went to Jason Ruby in his Nissan S13 Silvia. Quickest one A went to Ryan in his Mazda RX-7. Best just send an entry went to Dennis in his Audi S4. And quickest rotary went from Arthur from Tuna's Edge. We also had a bunch of supporting sponsors on the day. They were Twisted Fizzers, Anatol and Grill, Quick Bits, Platinum Bollards, JC Fabrications and Modern Repairs, Hustle Cartel, SPA8 Finance, Context Automotive Performance and Asbestos Australia Remove Lists. The team at Radio Life would like to extend a massive thank you to the team at Heathcote Park Raceway. This is their first ever event under new management and they did an amazing job delivering some great racing on the day. We gave away $8,000 in prize money on the day. We also gave away Raceworks packs to all the runners up of every class. Remember guys, these events are here to stay. If you want to be a part of it, all you need to do is rock up, bring it, and send it. Guys, we'll see you at our fourth event later on this year. Can't wait to see you all. Thanks everyone for their support. See you again soon. Make sure you like and subscribe and follow for more automotive videos. Thank you.